and if you have done none right in any way, then think over your lapse error, and be remorseful, so that you are not obliged to hide before people of your kind fellow human beings, as unfair ones irresponsible ones, and remorseless ones incorrigible ones. And consider that if you kill murder, someone of your kind human being, whether it be out of hatred or revenge or jealousy, in a battle war, or in strife, then that is the same as if many had been killed murdered, because many remain behind and sorrow as if they were themselves killed murdered therefore do not kill murder, people of your kind human beings, because however you justify killing it is against all laws and recommendations of creation in which nothing rightful can be found which could justify your killing someone of your kind human being, on any grounds whatsoever for any reason. And if you preserve the life of someone of your kind human being, then that is the same as if you had preserved the lives of many, because none are left behind who wail in sorrow, but those who go forth in gladness and embrace one another in joy and happiness. The reward for those who kill and wage battles wars, or strive to kindle chaos in the land is that they are the ones who are ostracized by people of your kind human beings and are bound on either hand or foot clapped in irons, by the authority or the jurisdiction and are brought for punishment to a place of fulfillment of guidelines secluded places or islands, or are driven out of the country so that ignominy is heaped upon them and that they may learn rightfully from it and become righteous ones conscientious ones however. He knows who feel sorry for their misdeeds and present themselves before the jurisdiction for punishment and give themselves up into its gavalt, because you shall impose upon them a milder punishment due to their remorse and their own admission self-indictment, compared to those who first have to be brought to account through a fulfillment of guidelines and only then feel sorry but do not heed the remorse and atonement excuse of the fallible ones against the laws and the standing rules and regulations if they are only declaring their remorse and atonement excuse through a negotiation procedure with the jurisdiction, because this approach is only taken in order to achieve a milder punishment, therefore such remorse and atonement excuse is only done with the intention of purpose equals means to an end of making the punishment mild. Be afraid of a doing non right and seek the path of unification with the truth and strive for it according to your cognition and understanding, so that it shall be well with you. Do not be like the ones in knowing of the truth and the unfair ones irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones, who strive for everything that is on the entire earth, and nevertheless are never satisfied and even if they have everything then truly they believe that they can by themselves free from everything which may befall happen to them and what they believe they are able to deflect from themselves through their wealth, all terrible things and all illness, malediction, misfortune, and death but truly, you cannot deflect either terrible things or illness or death or malediction, misfortune, from yourselves with your possessions and wealth. Therefore you have to face everything that befalls to you so that you may always make the best of it in yourselves, in your thoughts and feelings. Truly, you shall make the best out of death so that within yourselves you may be full of peace and love as well as full of joy and happiness and full of consonance harmony. When you become aware of your dying and you leave your world in which you have led your life but consider that you cannot take anything from this world with you, neither possessions nor wealth, neither food nor drink, neither jewelry adornment, nor garments clothing, neither people of your kind human beings, nor beasts or animals and other creatures who might be able to protect you in death. Be willing to learn the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life so that you understand all laws and recommendations of life as they are given by creation and as you follow them in honesty, you can escape from the fire of your own unknowledge and your read fear of death, which gives you great anguish. And regarding the man who steals, and the thieving woman, do not do not write to them either, and do not cut off their hands as a retribution for their outrage, misdemeanor, or misty defilement, so that they do not suffer terrible punishment, but are taken in a fair commensurate, 
manner for punishment had a place of fulfillment of guidelines secluded place secluded island. Act according to the laws and recommendations of the primal power of all life creation, which is itself the kingdom of firmaments universe, and all earth's world's planets, so that you are fair and do not mete out punishments as you wish, rather that you are forgiving and fair to all fallible ones in equal measure, both to man and woman, when you are punishing unfairness or responsibility. And if you are sure of the remorse and the apology of fallible ones, and also that they will improve themselves and become righteous conscientious, then be truly benevolent and forgiving. Those amongst you who have knowledge of the truth, do not grieve about those who rashly fall prey to an knowledge and untruth and do not take their words as truthful when they say that they are truly believers in the truth, because truly their thoughts are only caught up in a belief assumptions, but in their attitude mentality, they are of another sense and far from outside, all truthfulness. Therefore, there are many amongst you who like to listen to each lie of the false prophets, in order to pass on the lie to others who have not yet come to it not yet heard anything of it and they displace the words of the true teaching of truth from their places to his falsify, so that you might accept it, but be on your guard when they bring you the false teachings. He knows amongst you who are time-honored habitual, listeners of falseness deviousness, and are swallowers of benefiters from, things that are not allowed things that are forbidden, because when they come to you, then it is only because they want to ensnare you in the untruth and lead you away from the real truth however, do not condemn them, but turn yourselves away from them, or, as far as it is possible, teach instruct them in the real truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all wisdom creation, so that they may become knowing in the truth. And if you turn yourselves away from them, then they cannot cause you any harm but if you are deciding between them between the individuals, then decide between them between the individuals, in equitableness fairness, and according to the attitude mentality, of the individual truly. People of your kind fellow human beings, love it when you are fair. When, however, you are deciding on unfair irresponsible deeds and thoughts of people of your kind fellow human beings, then only decide by keeping yourselves aloof remaining neutral from the deeds and thoughts and whatever else that is terrible, and do not brand condemn and damn those over whose deeds and thoughts and whatever else you have to decide so that you may reach a fair objective, appraisal evaluation and at all times be aware that when you have to decide on the deeds and thoughts and whatever else of people of your kind fellow human beings, that you are only deciding on these things, but not on people of your kind human beings, as people of your kind human beings because truly, someone of your kind human being, as someone of your kind human being, is inviolable in his or her dignity, because it is only his or her deeds and thoughts and whatever else that are reprehensible villainous, whereas someone of your kind human being, can never be subjected to appraisal evaluation, as the like as such, and therefore cannot either be evaluated through a decision because truly, as a person of your kind human being, each person of your kind human being, is of equal worth value, through the laws of the primal wellspring of all love creation, and therefore a creature life form, of excellence the best, without treachery and reproach. You shall not make yourselves a judge over people of your kind fellow human beings, because people of your kind human beings, cannot be subjected to a decision as such. Therefore it is not possible to judge make a legal decision on or condemn, people of your kind as human beings, so it is only possible to judge the deeds and thoughts as well as the false consideration attitude, and other things therefore treat in this way regard, the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all love creation, so that you always decide truthfully and arrive at the commensurate judgment in the punishment make the right judgment in doing so. Do not turn your back on the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all love creation, so that you may always do what is right in all things as well.